Okay, well, where am I? I'm at my granddad and grandma's grave site. It's about six o'clock, Sunday night, Christmas, Christmas night. Not a whole lot going on. There was some kind of concert, I think. Everybody's leaving, so I'm going to have to get the hell out of here. I didn't get anything done I wanted to get done. There's my car. I'm tired. I'm going to have to drive real, real careful. Real careful and get the hell home and stay home. All right. There's my badge. It works good. Just <laughs> I never tell people I'm a cop. Ever. If they're acting like idiots, if they're drunk, if they're smoking pot, I flash in the badge. I go, really? Are you that stupid? And then usually they'll put it out or they'll, you know, uh, they'll uh, pour it out and that's it. But I would never tell them I'm a cop. Ever. Because I'm not. That's a nice Christmas tree. Something Phillips Jr. And I thought get George's parents are around here. That's a nice star. That's a nice straighter star. Where's George's parents? Somewhere. Look at a present. I don't know what it is. Now, how are they going to know what it is? They're dead. They can't open it up. You want to know what it is? Oh, it's a nice little, uh... It's a nice little, uh... Ranger thing. I wish I could turn the light on for you, but I don't have a light on this thing, I don't think. Huh. Uh, light, light, no. Oh, huh, <laughs> I had it backwards. Uh, here's the sunset, and there's the ranger. The manger. The ranger. What an idiot. The manger. And it looks very nice. It's in a box. It looks nice. It says Merry Christmas. It's got a wise man or something. I like it. And then we'll put it back on Stuart H. Brown. And his wife, Estelle Brown. He died in 72. She died in 98. So she had some time to mess around. If you know what I mean. Now we come over here. We've got nothing. Albert Coffee. I wonder if he drank a lot of coffee or if it's just his last name. Here's some presents. I think they're... Uh, I think they're empty. Yeah, they're empty. But this nice. It's a nice tree. Uh, I wish I had a light on this thing. And then I could find uh, George and his, uh, you know, parents. Can't find them. I'll do it one real quick. See, there's my car. So his is right around. It's got a, the uh, Salt Lake Temple, so it's not that far. I mean, hard to find. And knowing his psycho kids, they probably come out and clean it all the time. Even though I don't see it. Come on, I wanted to clean that one. I'm gonna come back and clean my uh, 
my grandfathers and grandmothers. But I don't see George's parents. I'm sorry, George. I tried. Uh, there. Uh, one more time. One more time. There's white. For some reason, I remember white. I don't know why, but I do. Uh, bogey. That ain't it. Come on, uh, Lester and uh, Esther, or whatever the heck. Lester Carlston and what I see, what you say, I see. Oh, uh, for something sake, something, and I stopped saying it because I didn't want to upset him anymore about his mom, but I'd say, geez Louise, that's what it is, Louise Carlston and Lester. Well, I can't find him, George, I'm sorry. But this has been the craziest, wackiest, Christmas Eve and Christmas ever, 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 even topping Sherry and her stupid, idiotic, stupid, idiotic, crazy, stupid, kicking me out of my own house type of action, even tops that, me and Sandra, me and, not Sandra, me and Yvette had better, way better Christmases than this. Way better. But, gosh dang it. Wish I.